Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Logic Bots. In today's episode, we have to do something kind of new, which is remote control plus camera control. What does that exactly mean? Let me actually show you by just, uh, let me actually load up one of my cars here. Big body with wheels. We're gonna load that up and we're gonna start the course. If you do remember, this is the house we have to go in. We had a look at the end of the last episode. However, I cannot move the camera. The camera is actually stuck to this angle. So what we will have to do is install a camera on the bot itself. However, if you don't know what we're talking about, let's have a proper look at the level. This is the house we have to go into. We have to reach all of these rooms and zones and we also have to go up some stairs right here. So we will have to build a vehicle that is able to do just that. Let's go ahead and apply a bunch of modifications here. First of all, I want to add my snap lines. There we go. And we want to remove these wheels, the front wheels. I want to exchange them with a bunch of triple wheels, which is actually the wheel you want to use when trying to climb stairs. I did it with a weird piston combination before, but this solution is, you know, a little bit more practical and elegant. Anyways, let's have a look into the fuck genial parts. And we're gonna choose the RC receiver, we're gonna utilize that, let's place it maybe here, and also we're gonna use the remote camera. Let's install that bad boy right there, it's pointing towards the front and it's also gonna give off some light. So now if we hit the start button, we can see we are actually in first perspective and we can also see a list of rooms right here with the layout that we have to clear. Pretty good. Let's go ahead and add some functionality to this. I don't think we have to add anything else part-wise, but we will see. I'm gonna place that bad boy right here. Then we got the RC receiver. Let's uh, do that here. And we're gonna add all of the keys W, S, D and A. Right, so now basically I want to go for a straightforward solution. Just uh, being able to control all of the wheels, etc. in different combinations. So what is possible? We want to drive forwards, which means both wheels go. We want to drive backwards, which means both wheels go, but in the reverse direction. We want to go right and left, which means they have to do the opposite for us to turn around. That means I'm gonna set up a couple of ore gates. I do know I'm gonna need at least four right here. I'm probably gonna need more to be honest with you. If I think about this logically, we need the left and right motors to be running in order for them to be able to reverse the direction. If you just reverse the direction without the motor being on, it's not gonna do anything. That means I'm gonna need at least an additional OR gate right here for these two. Let's actually hook them up. This one here is gonna activate the left motor. This one is gonna activate the right one. Then we have the reverse directions right there. Reverse directions we're gonna need for turning backwards and also turning towards the right or the left. So we're gonna need at least three OR gates for that or at least three OR connections. So that's what I'm gonna do here. We have one, two, three connections freed up. Then these OR gates belong to the one right next to them and I think now we need to do something else in order for this to still make sense. So if I click W I want both the left and the right motors to turn on. So we're gonna use a signal splitter right here W. This one is gonna turn on the right motor and also the left motor. There we go. Anyways, if I hit the S key, then I want the left and the right motors to go, but also in reverse direction. So I'm gonna need like uh, one of those splitters. Let's see, this one is gonna go to the left motor. Let's do that. And this one is gonna go to the right motor. Then I'm gonna need an additional signal splitter in order to have two lines still in order to reverse them. So one reversion is gonna happen here and the other reversion, let's do it there. Okay, I hope you still have the overview. Now I should be able to go forwards and backwards. Yes, beautiful. Now, as for the D key, let me think, we want to steer to the right. So that means left motors go straight and right motors go backwards. So we're gonna need also a, a triple signal splitter for that. D, you go here. So we want to turn on the left motor, as I said, I think, yeah. We also want to turn on the right motor. And I just see, I'm gonna need an additional OR gate. And also the right motor should go in reverse direction. There we go. Let me see. Maybe we could get rid of this one and hook this straight up. There we go. Let's test that out actually. D. Yeah, okay. It allows me to turn around, go straight and back. That's fine. 
Then we need one last solution, which is gonna be the same but the other way around for the A key. So A is gonna activate the left and the right motor. I have no slots free for them, so maybe let's add a couple more OR gates like that. No, actually this is a little bit confusing. I should add them at the spot where they actually do something, which is the left and the right motor. So you are gonna go here instead, so we have one more spot free. That means we can hook this guy up to the left motor. Then we need to do the same thing here. Uh, let me see, where is this coming from? From here. So you go there instead and then here. And that means I can hook this one here up as well. Okay, now I completely lost the overview. The cabling is crappy. But it's going to most likely work out. The only connection we still have to do is this one here in order to reverse the left motor direction. And now we should also be able to turn right. Okay, okay, this seems to already work. Let's actually go ahead and check out the puzzle. Will the wheels do their job? Yes, indeed. We can go inside and there we go. The first room is cleared. Now, I think we have to do this within three minutes or so. Let me actually see. Can we? Yeah, we can get through here just about. So we're gonna clear this, then go around here. And there are a couple of narrow spots I'm still concerned about. I mean, maybe we needed to use the other body in order to be narrow enough. But we will see, we will see. I'm just gonna go right here and I will have to back up a little bit. Did we check it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, now uh, turn around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good, good. This is working nicely. I think before we go up the stairs, we actually need to go right here. Yeah, there is another one of these areas that we have to tick. And now I guess it's the staircase left. Okay, let's turn around here. And this is gonna be probably more difficult than before, but let's see. I'm sure we can... Oh, actually, ah, this is actually going well. Yeah, look at that. We're climbing the stairs. Time is running. Ah, 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 there we go. We're almost there. <laughs> oh, finally, up the stair. No, there's another one, of course. That's how stairs usually are. Ah, 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 there we go. I got the angle. Okay, you just need the perfect angle for this to be working. There we go. So, was this the... St oh, no. Did we miss something on the ground floor? I think we did. <laughs> Let me see, let me complete this and then we probably need to have a look back down the stairs, which might be horrible. Oh my gosh, I feel trapped. Okay, I'm wandering around aimlessly. I think we haven't done this one. Yeah, another check mark done. And then there are the two big rooms towards my left here. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's turn around. Yeah, it's not the fastest bot, but you know, if I had actually a plan on how to do this, with an optimal route, I might be able to get, like, below 3.30. Okay, let's see. I think this is the last room, at least on the top floor, and then there is something wrong with the staircase. I just didn't reach the checkpoint there somewhere. So let's actually go down again, if that is possible. Yeah, down is always possible, right? Okay, is it this room here? I think it might be. Yeah, okay, okay. I mean, that's not too bad. We might be able to reach the time limit. Let me try this again and we are just gonna see if it works out. Okay, guys, we are at one minute or so and I'm just about to clear the first floor. I mean, it could work out. If I can make it up the stairs very quickly, I might be able to do it. Come on, just work. Just work like a charm. Yes? No? Don't let me down. Okay, okay, we're up, guys. We're actually up. That means I have a little bit over a minute. Oh, man, I should be able to do it. I should be able to do it. I feel a little bit stressed, to be honest with you, because I'm egging on every corner, basically. Oh, no, 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 it's just one minute and three rooms to go. You can do it, Nathan. Okay, actually, I feel comfortable that we can do it now. I think I just have to be very, very careful now. 30 seconds to go. Don't egg on. Don't egg on. Where is the last room? I think uh, this one here. Oh, it's gotta be. Oh, don't tell me I've done this one already. Yes. Oh, nice. We did it. 3 minutes and 11 seconds. That's not too bad. Not too shabby, I would say. Great stuff. Let's have a look at the assault course. What was that about? I actually totally forgot. My scale bear. Oh yeah, that was this uh, crazy level where we have to use the pistons in some way or the other. How can I even make it across here? Let's have a look at the functional parts. Maybe there are new parts. We got the remote camera, all right, and the pumps. The single motor. I'm not entirely sure how this one works. Yeah, we'll have to think about this a little bit. I mean, how can I use this? Maybe we can use this and a triple wheel in order to hang on to the ledge. 
we have to build something that is narrow enough to fit through the pipe. So it's got to be foldable because this uh, wall here is bigger than the pipe. That means we have to unfold something and then kind of hang on to the ledge and drag us over. But I cannot imagine yet how the dragging over thing would work. So that might be something I have to think about for a little while longer. So I'm gonna definitely come back to this course. I find it absolutely freaking amazing. But right now I would like to see if maybe we can solve something else in the next campaign. Grass cut, for instance, look at that. I mean, there's all these new parts that we're gonna get. Wall climb, here. Ah, interesting, maybe we learn more about the wall climb. But let's have a look at the cut grass. Build a logic bot that will autonomously cut grass. The logic bot must cut at least 99% of the grass. Okay, gonna view the level, that's interesting. Okay, we got a wall. We might want to determine the distance from the field towards the wall. Maybe there's a way to actually detect the grass. We will see. Let's... Uh, ooh. Okay, let's <laughs> install this auto mow robot. I love it. <laughs> oh, we have no functional parts. We only have sensors and we have the grass sensor. This sensor uses an infrared beam to detect if grass is between the two prongs. Outputs a high signal if it detects grass. Let's have a look at that. So we could place that right here in the front. And we also have the ultrasonic ranger, which allows us to detect the wall. However, there are not walls everywhere, right? Could we say, for instance, as long as we detect grass, we go straight? Let me actually see. I want to install a couple of wheels. Do we have special wheels for this one? Let's see. I want to have some wheels right here and also maybe here in the front. And I also want these guys to be on the same level. So we're going to do something like that. Great, let's install the wheels. This one is left motor. Ah, and I did those at the spot where I cannot do it, but we can do it a little bit more towards the front. That's fine. It looks like a little race car though. So there we go. We got the wheels in the joint. Let's go ahead and install the circuit board already. Oh, there's actually something else here. There is uh, the mower blades on or off. That's great. So for the time being, let's install a dual switch. I just want to go straight and actually see the cutting in action. Grass sensor, as soon as you detect something, the mower blades should turn on. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, it sounds like a little fart. That's amazing. Good. So what do we want to do at this point? So the instance we don't detect grass anymore, we want to turn towards the right side, I guess. Could we actually do that already? Uh, towards the right side means we want the left motor to or the right motor to go into reverse direction. So when the grass sensor doesn't detect anything, not gate, then we want the right motor direction to change. That means we're gonna add a dual switch. One goes into the not gate and the other one into the motor blades. There we go. Let's see how that does. Oh yeah, of course, the beginning. <laughs> What if we added like a start pulse right here and kind of deactivated this NOT gate? That would mean though we are going to need an OR gate as well. This goes into the OR gate first and then activate the NOT gate and this one as well. There we go. So in the beginning we shouldn't have that reversion, but afterwards it doesn't matter anymore. Ah, it's not long enough, the start pulse. But maybe now, now, yeah, detecting the grass. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I think we're onto something here. The, the beginning was a little bit wonky, but uh, my plan seems to work. You know, I've been doing actually a lot of mowing at my grandparents' house, and this is the exact technique that I used. I just, you know, went all the way around. She actually did have an electric mower, which was horrible, because every round you had to kind of lift the cable over the mower. It was insane. But guys, I think this was a pretty good solution. So far, so good. If we don't skip too much, we should be fine. I mean, 99% is quite a bit of the field that we have to get. And you can see every now and then we have a couple of spots that are left free. But so far, I think it's pretty good, a pretty solid strategy. And this is a strategy, if we don't get to 99%, I will actually try again. Because it might work the second time. But for now, you will not see me complain. Wow, I didn't think this was such a good solution. Uh, what we could do to make this better is put the sensor a little bit more towards the right, for instance, so that we ensure to take more of the grass as we turn around too soon, for instance. Alright guys, we're almost there. We are at 90%. Wow, cutting grass. I When I started this game, I never thought this would be what we are going after. 
Oh, there we go. We did it. Look at that. And we stayed within budget. The only thing we didn't get is the time. What was the third challenge? I wonder. Let's have a look at that. Your logic bot must use no more than one grass sensor to... Oh, oh of course. Multiple grass sensors. Didn't think of that. But yay, guys. We did it. So, I'm not sure if we have the time to solve something else. Let's maybe just have a look at the next few puzzles. Vacuum clean. What, what could this be? Okay, we probably need to do some cleaning. Yeah, look at that. Looks like a pretty dirty carpet, but this time a lot of objects are going to be in the way. Oh, so I don't think we're gonna have like a dirt sensor of some sorts, but we just have to kind of move around everywhere, avoid the obstacles and just randomly try to get everywhere. Just like with these normal cleaning robots, I guess that actually exist in the real world. Good, that is gonna be interesting. I think I have a plan for that already. Single motor, I have no idea what they mean with that. Build a logic bot that can follow the black line. However, your logic bot can only have one motor to complete the task. But this is easy, isn't it? Chi X10 single frame motor. There we go, let's go ahead and add two pneumatic wheels. This one is gonna be normal, hmm. So it's gonna turn anti-clockwise, that would be backwards. So I want this to turn clockwise, right? And then uh, this one here to turn anti-clockwise. There we go. We also need the caster wheel, if we can. And now I can add it. Yes, great. Let's uh, rotate this just so everyone is happy. Okay, now this should already kind of, you know, Oh no, did I build this completely weird? Yeah, look at that. There are actually arrows. I totally missed that. I'll be right back once I switch this around. Okay, there we go. I think we got it. This time we're facing forwards. We got the caster ball and also we got a light sensor. Let's actually see. The light sensor even hits the line in the beginning, it looks like. So all we theoretically have to do is move, for instance, the left wheel if we see the line and the right wheel if we don't see the line. Let's actually have a look at the circuit. How does that look with only one? Ah, okay, I see. So we will have to add even more things such as, let me see, a circuit board, for instance. We're gonna add that right on top of here. And this way we should at least have, you know, a little bit of space to do something. I'm gonna add that here, then the single motor frame right there and the line sensor here. So we can turn the motor on or reverse the direction, of course. Wow, look at that. Finally, we get uh, multiple AND and OR gates, but oh man, this is so great. I love it. I was waiting for those. Could have used those in the previous puzzle, you know, all the OR gates. But anyways, at the moment I need a NOT gate and then also a splitter. There we go. So if the sensor does detect something, then we want to turn the motor on. And if it doesn't detect something, then reverse. I don't know. We will have to observe very briefly. There we go. Ah, ah, of course. So in both instances, we have to be able to turn it on, actually. Let me see. Uh, there could be an OR gate. So if the line sensor detects something or doesn't detect anything. So we're going to add this and that and that. And this one here is going to go into the OR gate. And this one is going to go to the motor. Oh, man. Sorry, that was the worst explanation I've ever given to anything. But let me see. Uh, 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 okay, that's not what I wanted to see. Okay, guys, I, I think this is actually a good task for you guys to post in the comment section. If you know how I can solve this easily, let me know. For now, I will have to think about it a little bit more. I can now see in what way this is more difficult, as I cannot steer the wheels individually. I, I totally didn't think this through. But yeah, guys, with that out of the way, I would say we're gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Have a great time and hopefully I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Bye bye.